They do. What's this called? The M33? We've got, it in the, we've got it on our ticket anyway. Well, I can find it on their site if I need to anyway, don't I? Have, have a quick look. So we got all this on our boat, but this has never had it on. Look how brand new it looks. This is the modern bit. We've got three minutes of battery. I have to change the battery. Yeah. 610 minutes left. So this is where the engine room used to be. Oh, they haven't put the engine room back in then. I thought they would have put the engine room back in, but they've stripped it all out, didn't they? That's, this is the engine room. I don't know, round there, he said. He said round there, didn't he? Yeah. But I suppose they can't find an engine, so they can't put it back in. Here we go. Okay, oh, this is comfortable. I could sit here and watch a film, couldn't you? Like most haunted. In March 1915, look at it, look an allied British and French fleet tried to break through the Dardanelles Strait of Turkey, reach Constantinople, and force Turkey out of the war. Oh, it's basic. But the strait was heavily defended. We lost three battleships and abandoned the attack. are about to be landed by boats. Really good. We've not tried anything on this scale before, and waiting for us are the Turks, who've had weeks to prepare. At about two o'clock that night, the moon was still shining. I saw straight in front of us a large number of ships. Everything was absolutely quiet as we approached. Well, look. But as the first boat touched the shore, a single shot broke the stillness. The Australians and New Zealanders, Brilliant. or Anzacs, land to the north. The British attack in the south. With the blood from the bodies of the enemy, the shore became a pool of corpses, like a shore of fish. Despite the bravery of our lads, the landings are a disaster. Planning was wildly optimistic, and command is lacking. We are pinned down on or near the beaches. To stay seemed to make certain of death. To leave. In the loss of the whole enterprise, we stay. Come on, mate! Steer! Steer! Put your back into it! <coughs> and so we descend into the horrors of trench warfare. Six minutes! Their front line is bristling with machine guns. Keep it together. Take up. The whistle goes. We scramble, and over the top, and it's with a machine gun, rifle fire, circle, pass, and over it. Obviously, the first line to advance, and we did not get 10 yards. Everyone fell like runs to me. It was simply murder. Oh, that's when 
afternoon. Crazy. All this first round turn. It looks but brilliant. Down. What are they doing? That's Nothing. scary, yeah. A small trench. Everywhere lay the dead. Swollen, black and hideous. Oh, no. And overall, a nauseating stunch that made one feel desperately sick. Oh, I feel like it. Yeah. <coughs> Drop a water, mate. The wounded, lying in the hot sun, were plagued by flies, swarming over every dressing. Their wounds yeah, because they laid back into them, didn't they? <laughs> The Navy pounded the Turkish positions with heavy guns. The Turks are commanded by a German, General von Sanders, and he can call up a deadly new weapon. Oh, look at that. We dive to 70 feet, and I maneuver to 21 for a torpedo shot. Yeah. 